when Jamie and I actually got the first chance to talk and sit down and go over this character, it, it was uh, it was very clear to me that we had, we thought about the same things. Uh, you know, somebody who very much presents control and um, and seeks control over those around him and is very manipulative. And when he doesn't get that, he l lashes out in whether in, in violence or um, sabotage or whatever it is, like a, like almost like a petulant child, and uh, that was something that we we had, we had talked about very early on, which I think really helped me sort of navigate this. I mean, you know that Fifty Shades of Grey is this worldwide phenomenon; it's huge, but you don't really know until you get into it and and you see the immediate response and you see how much people care and and then to be on set and join a team that's already made a movie together and be the new guy and then to be so welcomed and and end up having a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, and, you know, Dakota and Jamie and Erica and uh, and then and really all the fans that, you know, show their support, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram, it just it made me feel uh, very welcome, despite the fact that I'm uh, playing the bad guy. There's this amazing duality that Dakota brings to Anna, where there's this great strength and vulnerability all at the same time. And I don't, I don't know what, how to put my finger exactly on that, but uh, it's, it's really lovely to watch, and, and uh, she's fantastic to play opposite of. The first movie is, is this... Uh, darker love story that, that takes people into areas of the bedroom that hasn't really been openly talked about. And these next two movies are much more of a thriller and, and, and a psychological thriller and, and games of cat and mouse and mystery as, as they try to figure out who's sabotaging their lives and, and, and survive this horrible human being that's going after them. And, and somehow still trying to keep their lives together. I think that's the other thing, is that's, that's the cause and effect of Jack Hyde's influence and the influence of all these other people in their lives that are, are threatening to tear them apart. And are they gonna be able to make it together? Are, is, does this work? And that larger question of can they be together? So what did you think of the video? Thumbs up or down? Well, stay with me as I have an interesting movie fact for you. Daniel Day-Lewis insisted upon growing his own facial hair for the role of Daniel Plainview in the movie There Will Be Blood, threatening to quit the movie over the issue. Femi was haltered for five days while he cultivated his facial hair. Now, if you haven't already done it, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. Bye-bye!